All right, Jokeli Jadu is still standing by at a newspaper stand out there somewhere in Lagos. Uh, over to you now, Joke. Hello, Joke. Okay. Can you hear us now? All right, uh, I guess we'll have to move on then to our next um, uh, discussion this morning on TVC Breakfast. Now, the Nigerian government's whistleblower policy uh, seems to be bearing uh, the desired fruit. Uh, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission says it has uncovered huge sums of monies in a house in Ikoyi, Lagos, and that's just one of many. The agency says its operatives discovered the monies in dollars, pounds, and naira during an operation. The anti-graft agency also said it had bankers around with their machines to count the monies. But how do you determine a legitimate whistleblower? That's a big question. Yes, indeed. But we're now joined by a lawyer, Ahmed Abbas. Uh, good morning. It's good to have you here on the show. Thank Maybe you. the first Are you a whistleblower? I hope you are. <laughs> are you a whistleblower, really? That's what we should well, ask you. Yes. If, um, on your platform, we've been blowing whistles <laughs> <laughs> over institutions that are corrupt. Is that yeah, not so? Every is, platform we've had. Is anybody listening? That's the point. Now, is government showing that it really values the role of the whistleblower in its, in the way it's handled uh, these uh, discoveries uh, so far? You have the $43 million and so many others. Yeah, first and foremost, we must commend the government mm. because for the first time, we are eyewitnesses to the mind-boggling revelation of looted funds being discovered by EFCC. Yes, I asked that question really, yes. uh, based on the fact that there is no law yet empowering this particular policy. Mm -hmm. And people are saying uh, any would-be whistleblower would not be, pro you know, uh, encouraged. The bill is still before the National see, Assembly. They may just be uh, yeah. see, caught there, in the there midst is, of things. There is, even as of today, yes, we agree there is no law, but as a policy, as a policy, a whistleblower within the framework, existing framework as of today, can be protected by the government. Do you know what do you call whistleblowing? Mm -hmm. Even the police, as of today, they have whistleblowers. In case you are not aware, all over the Federation, there are people that prefer, I mean, offer information to security agencies. Yes. Mm -hmm. To nip crime in the board. And in case you are not aware, some of them are even on the payroll of these police officers. And they also enjoy confidentiality. Are you aware that a man, a director in uh, the, the Foreign Affairs Ministry was uh, uh, perhaps, as we speak now, sacked Sorry. because of the issue of whistleblowing? And the, the officers there will say, okay, he, was, he had an, a malicious intention and all that. And the question people have been asking is, is it favorable when it's uh, not government officials and unfavorable when it's at the coffers of the government? You know, you have sick men and women occupying public offices. Hmm. They are sick, mentally sick and emotionally sick. If you work in an ex establishment and a staff blow the whistle over, what is whistle, whistle blowing policy? It is simply that it is to empower workers. Whether Worker, workers or outsiders mm -hmm. to ensure that organizations and institutions run ethically. It is mm -hmm. just to open up a system for transparency. Mm -hmm. The essence of whistleblowing is to ensure that people play by the rules. And of course, Nigeria is a signatory to, the, to Article 33 of the UN uh, yes, Convention. Yes, the essence is to bring transparency into public and private operations mm -hmm. to ensure that nobody is conducting himself in an unlawful manner, in an illegal manner, in an unethical manner. When you now have a, an employee yes. blowing whistle over misconduct yes. and the institution yes. punishes him for that, it means those presiding over those, those institutions are sick All right. emotionally. Okay, just uh, hold your thoughts sick. there. Very strong words, uh, but before we continue, let uh, Foladele... Uh, give us an idea of what the people what are, saying. are saying. What Nigerians are saying. Are they sick? Good morning. Now, this golden whistle, <laughs> it's huge. The whistleblower himself looks golden, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm laughing because you have to, you can imagine that, you know, this whistleblowing talk has become the new slam yeah, on the streets. A cool is. whistleblowing is something that I guess <laughs> we can say right now. Good morning, Ahmed. Morning. All right, so let's check out some of the jokes mm -hmm. and, of course, also the points people are making online about the whistleblowing policy. 
David Okpako says, Judas Iscariot says, I am the greatest whistleblower. Nigerian whistleblower says, you're a learner. <laughs> <laughs> Shania Lavede says, so the whistleblower who leaked the loot in Ikoyi House to EFCC will make 5% of $50 million. Baba God, please give me whistle to blow. <laughs> If Edaya says, Father Lord, make me the next whistleblower, appoint me. That 5% is my portion. <laughs> Emre says, when your parents say, have good grades in school, you'll get a good paying job when you're done. But deep down, it's whistleblower you want to do. <laughs> the web design guy says, the thief, the whistleblower, the EFCC, the CBN, those who keep the stolen money and the government, they are all the same people. Shaking my head. Mm. Nigerian diplomat says, the whistleblower policy is proving to be a great step against looters. It could also be applied to other sectors in Nigeria. Mm. And the last one here from Martha Claren. She says, whistleblower Nigeria are just making the EFCC job too easy. Are they not supposed to investigate like CSI or something? Ahmed. So Martha says that um, the whistleblowing policy is making the job too easy for the EFCC. What do you think about that? No, no, that's not correct. The honest truth is that fighting corruption is a, is a, is a serious and the um, responsibility that the government and institutions alone cannot. That's the honest truth. Mm -hmm. So the essence of the whistleblowing policy is simply to throw back the battle against corruption to the society. Mm -hmm. Join the train if you have information. In advanced countries like in U.S., you have various whistleblowing policy. In fact, there is one, uh, I, I think it was, I, I've forgotten how the... If you help the government to blow whistle mm. and assist in reducing the cost of project execution, like contracts, yes. if you know that a particular contract was inflated mm. and you help the government to blow the whistle, thereby reducing the cost, you are entitled to almost about 20 to 30 percent mm. of the cost of, of, the, that cost of the reduction. Of the reduction. Of the reduction. But, but what do you think about okay. the fact that so, you get you get a percentage of stolen money. I mean, someone else raised the point that isn't that also enabling corruption? Which is better? <laughs> a man steals 10 billion naira. Okay. That you can't trace. And somebody blew the whistle, you recover the 10 million, and you are compensating the person with maybe about no, 200 million to the naira. Of yeah. information see, see, right now. It's, it's, it's a way of, look, when you are face to face with a mind boggling problem, you must sit down to craft radical solutions. Mm -hmm. For us to have gotten to the point of bringing out this whistleblowing policy, it is because it is defying logic. Yeah. All right. The, let me, the let amount me put of in corruption my is defying logic. Yes. All right. it, it, the level of corruption in Nigeria, I'm telling you, it really is mind boggling. Mind -boggling. You can say yeah. that again. Yeah. For 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 we're letting, letting you go, but we're, we're still going to continue on your point. Yes. According to the Minister of Information, the release came out and said, and he said that if most of the whistleblowers right now are not after money, that they just give the information that they don't even want money. That is just about uh, being patriotic. That's mm. that's what is going on, really. So you think if I have information about looters, you know my position. I've taken a position. Long time ago, where I stand, I, don't, I, I may not need the money. I'm simply, I just want a society where our children will have a hope. I know public officers. I was talking to a public officer the other day. He works in one of the state government. Mm -hmm. He was my classmate, I mean, schoolmate. He told me, he said, I've relocated my children. I said, why? He said, I don't want my children to grow in this environment. He said, I'm a civil servant. I know, look, you can't live decently in Nigeria without being corrupt. And if you say you don't want to live by corruption, you have scars to show. Yes, they will demote you. Uh, so absolutely. most people are just angry. The average Nigerian is just angry. And is a civil servant. But are we yes. angry? How are did we he, how angry can he afford enough? to take his family out of the that's country? Not, is he that's, also corrupt? That's not even an issue now. See, it might we, be an issue. He's a civil servant. See, he's Ahmed, moving, see, moving, see, moving, I, 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 his Ahmed, hold yeah. on. Let me hold on a second. Let's let's get this clear. Yes. How serious are we? How angry are we really to end? corruption or even bring it to the barest minimum. Now we're focusing on whistleblower and all of that. But what about putting systems in place to ensure that whoever wants to have the tendency to pilfer, to put their hands in the public till, will be discouraged from doing that so that the whistleblower becomes a last resort for government or society as a whole? Very simple. Institutions of states are the arms of government. Yes. They are the structures and the pillars of society. So you must introduce merit into men and women that will man our institution. You must build their capacity. And beyond that also, 
you must also create an enabling environment because, see, when, you, when the system does not reward hard work and salaries and emoluments are also not commensurate, mm -hmm. if you pay people peanuts and you make them to preside over mind-boggling financial this thing. They survive at some times. Mm -hmm. Are you, you, you understand me? Yeah. You, you pay a man 50000 or 20000 or 30000 in this economy. He will pay for house rent. Mm -hmm. He will send his children to school. You, there's no electricity. Infrastructure, there's no public transportation system. You have to rely on that. So the, ex, the, 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 the infrastructure in the society must be in tandem with whatever you want to achieve. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a systemic challenge. So we're not focusing Institution. on the most important thing then. Because, look, when you have poverty, like the electoral system, I tell people, until you empower people, until a man can afford the basic necessities of life, mm -hmm. when you bring a bag of rice to a community and you have close to 100, 200 people queuing up to share out of that bag of rice, yeah. the political system will keep getting distorted because there's poverty until you empower them. That's why the political class, we must tell All right. them. Let's empower quickly look people. at some of the mm -hmm. monies recovered and the manner yes. which they are recovered. Mm -hmm. The one recovered from Kaduna uh, Airport, mm -hmm. uh, there was no owner for it. They just found it. The one recovered in Ikoi recently, too. Yeah, the, the $43 been, million. Dollars. There had been a lot of uh, argument about the ownership, ownership of that. The NIA came out to say they are the owner at a point uh, and and all that, and a lot of questions uh, are, being, are, are popping up based on that. The NIA, does the TSA not apply to the NIA? Why would they keep such money? And the allegation of that money being released uh, under, uh, under uh, former President Gulag Jonathan, who left, who ceased to be the president of this country as of 2015. The budget at which that money came out, uh, the, the lifespan expired in 2015. And is the, the National Security Office not aware of this money? And if that is the case, if the money is, is, the money is being is being warehoused at a private apartment. Are there no security men attached to such monies? Those are questions. No, you see, don't don't be fooled by uh, the lies in the newspapers about uh, this. And we, we are not we are not kids. That's why I said sometimes when people on the other side are talking to the other side of uh, the the, the, the society, they mm. think sometimes we don't have the capacity so the, to. The question it. is: Should Very, the Nigeria Intelligence Agency yes. keep money? in any place apart from the bank that it says it's used for, as, as far as, uh, as, far as, as the CBN, yes. as a matter as of fact. As far as I'm concerned, yes. they don't have a printing machine for printing money. That uh -huh. money must have emanated from somewhere, mm -hmm. true or false. Absolutely. Yes, that's also, so they should tell us where the money emanated from. As they could the, not have printed the money if the it's from ESCC the central bank. The should tell us where the money That's what I'm saying. From. If any agency says this money belongs to me, you don't have a printing machine. Those money emanated from an institution, a bank. Whether CBN or any of the banks, so why is the they, should, they, they should why, be able why to is provide. The dragging its foot right now to name the owner of that money. In some cases, they've named the owner easily. Why is it now that the NIA is coming in, is indicting the Nigerian government as we speak? Well, that's what, that's what I'm saying. I, for me, I wouldn't want to believe whatever is out there. Okay, if you, you, there must be information relating to where this money emanated from, those monies, they were, they, some of them were mints. You know Mint what, so there, there are more questions than answers, and I doubt yes. very much if we'll end this discussion today. I, I guess we may have to continue this. Uh, but let's uh, say thank you so much, Ahmed Abbas, a thank lawyer, you. Uh, for uh, coming on TVC Breakfast. Let's quickly go back to Joke Lijadu, who has the headlines for us. Over to you now, Joke. And I hope you can hear us this time. Good morning, and a happy Easter. It's about the time we find out what the newspapers are saying this morning. And we are coming to you live from the newsstand here at K2. We start with the Vanguard. On the front page of the Vanguard, we have the banner headline, Recovered $43 million, 27,000 pounds and 23 million naira. NIA moves to officially reclaim Ikoyi cash. Insist money is its own. Says it's normal, safe house practice worldwide. This closest NIA boss had one hour pre raid talks with Magu. Adds Magu ignored warning not to raid NIA safe house. Treasury looters now burying money in cemeteries, forest, says the federal government. Also on the, uh, on the front page of the Vanguard, we have protesters stone, senator, rep, others at APC's Casina rally. 
we move over now to the punch where the Koi Gate is still making headlines. But, you know, another side of the story, since 13, 13 billion naira presents evidence of ownership, Sage tells Wiki, reverse governor, government asks state to pray for return of cash. Or Shibajo, Ambode, Dixon, Ahmed, Otton, can advocate peace at Easter. We also have surgeons arrested for releasing 4.1 million naira exhibits to fraud star. Gunmen kidnap monarch in Ondo, demand 15 million naira, and man sells six-year-old girl for 200,000 naira. You find details of that in the punch. Also, we have Abuja Airport runway, terminal building ready today, says fan. Port terminal operators lose 75 billion naira to naira fall. Talking, talking about some, some uh, business news. In some sports stories here, we have complete sports. Enyima concedes goal number 40 in league. X equals goal is set to equal personal worst record of 42. Ambrose FA target 2018 World Cup helps Ibenian club gain promotion and Igalo confirms injury blow to undergo scan today. As that drops huge Chelsea exit hint. Well that's the stories making headlines on most of the major newspapers in town today. Over to you now in the studio. Okay. Thank you, Joke. Ah. This $43 million, we're, we're, we're yet to hear the last of it. The NIA you won't hear the making last official of it until, moves yes. to lay claims to the money yes. leaves more questions than answers. We we'll need answers, really. Nigerians do need answers to all of this. Thank you so much for uh, making us be part of your Monday, your Easter holiday. We we'll look forward to having you join us again tomorrow. I am Ngozi Alebu. And I am Busolami Tunwashe. Bye for now. <laughs>